PTA AV Studio 11 now includes nested opacity for child objects and also the ability to adjust color filters using the same parent child relationship. If we have a number of child images of a parent as I have here, we can now fade them all on and off the screen together with just one adjustment of the parent. Now the parent can be an image, a video, a rectangle or a frame as in this case. Now here you can see we have four keyframes attached to the parent control frame. The first of those has a zero opacity so between that keyframe and this keyframe that'll bring all seven images onto the screen and these two which of course we can always move around do exactly the same from this keyframe to this keyframe nothing happens at all because that's when we view the images but between this keyframe and this it's removing all of the images again via the opacity. In previous versions of PTE AV Studio each of these seven images would require four of those keyframes to do exactly the same. So in PTE 11 those potentially 28 keyframes have now been reduced to just four in the parent control frame. And we can do exactly the same with coloured filters. Now the nested opacity and the nested colour is not turned on automatically. We do need to select that option if we want to adjust, as I have here, seven child objects within one frame. And we do that in the properties. There's the two commands we're going to need. Nested opacity is already ticked because I've already set it up for demonstration but we would need to do the same for nested color filters too. Once we do that, then we've got full control via the animation tab. Now those two options are not turned on all of the time as we may not want that option in all cases. Now what I've done here is to remove all of the keyframes that controlled that opacity and we'll quickly set up a color example. I've already ticked the little box in the Properties tab, so we're good to go. So with the keyframe right over at the far left, we're going to allow all of those images to fade on screen together. So if I right-click and clone a keyframe, at some point I can decide that between these two keyframes, I just want the images to be viewed. But from this keyframe to the next, and I'll right-click and I'll clone again, what I can now do is go to the parent control frame and I can go to my color filters. Let's pick toning. Let's pick cyan. I'll just keep that as an example. But if we wanted that to remain on screen for a short time, then we would right click and clone the keyframe again because between that point and that point we don't want any changes but if we want to go back to color now then I can right click clone the keyframe and I can remove the color filter so let's give this a little bit of a try sometimes when we've got quite a number of images on screen we need a fair slide duration to allow time for them to be viewed but as you can see here, we can see that change to the blue tone. And of course, it could be monochrome or any other color you wish to choose. But from this keyframe to the next, we're going to return to color. And of course, we could also incorporate the fade with the opacity as well. So we have another step in the right direction where in this scenario, the potential for 28 keyframes has been reduced to four. If you've enjoyed the videos in this playlist, what's new in PTE AV Studio 11, please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you hit that notification bell, you'll be advised every time I post a new video. Most of my videos are between five and six minutes, 
short and hopefully sweet.